Welcome back. So in the previous lecture, I explained what is WhatsApp Cloud API, WhatsApp Business API, what is the difference between Meta Cloud API and the BSP. As I explained, either we are going through Meta or BSP, you must have, you must create a WhatsApp Business account on developers.facebook.com and we have to verify our Facebook business manager through business.facebook.com. Now in this lecture, we'll go through a step-by-step -step procedure to perform all this activity. So first go to developers.facebook.com and here click on login. So once you click on login, if you have any already existing account with the Facebook, click on login with the Facebook. If you don't have any Facebook account, click on create new account. So once we click on the create new account, again here you have to select sign up with Facebook and then you have to fill all the information and our Facebook account will be created. If you're creating, if you're going through this creating new account on the Facebook, after creation, we have to wait minimum one or two hour. Okay, so immediately we can proceed. We get some messages in between, like try after one hour. So after that, again on the same developers.facebook.com in the login, enter your email address, password, and click on the login. And then here click on the get started. If you here, if you already have the account, no need to create the new. Directly enter your IID password. Okay, and then click on get started. And after that, here, step by step, all four steps we have to complete. Okay, the first is the register, like verify your account here. We have done the registration on the initial screen. It is like verifying the account. So here we have to select our country and enter our mobile number. On this number, we'll get the verification code. Okay, so we'll get the SMS. That SMS code will to enter here and click on continue. The next step is the contact information. If you log in through email, so our primary email will automatically come here. If not, you can type manually, or if you want to change, you can update by clicking on update email. If you have to confirm and use the same email address for your contact info, just confirm email. So on the next screen, select which of the following best describes you, either a developer, analyst, a student, etc., or the owner or founder. Because I did the registration with my own legal company document, so I selected here owner founder. Okay, then click on the complete registration. So once we complete the registration process, and if you see at the top, we are navigated to developers.facebook.com slash apps. So here we have to click on the create new app. Okay. And once we click on the create new app, either here or this button, on the next screen, there's some information, go through it. Okay. And then click on create app again. Here we have to give the app name. This is just the app name. Okay. This will show on our my as page once we log in the next time. So once we're done with this, we can log in again through developers.facebook.com or developers.facebook.com slash app. Okay, so this first step, app details. We have to enter app name, app contact email. This may be different or the same ID. And then one by one, we'll do all this step completion, use case, business requirements, and the overview. Okay, so here enter the app name, app contact email and click on next icon. Then in the business use case, okay, select the proper use case. If you're not sure, I would suggest better select other, okay? Select other in the use case and click on next. Then in the app type, we have two option, business or consumer, select business here, okay? Like we want to manage our business assets. Select this radio button and click on next button. So in the next, by default, our app name will come, our app contact email will come, 
if you have any business portfolio select from here if not as of now this is optional just click on the create app so after this our app will get created you can see our app name here okay and but the currently the app mode is development it is not live okay now because we are creating this app for the whatsapp so in the add product to your app we have to select here whatsapp and click on the setup once we click on the setup so here we can see automatically the setting is here the quick start under whatsapp you can see the quick start okay so in case to make use of whatsapp business platform api you must have a business profile so if you already have the business profile on your business.facebook.com with the same login id you may not get this pop up here otherwise we have to create click on continue and create a whatsapp business profile okay as i mentioned currently the app mode is live so currently we are on to developers.facebook.com so as soon as we click on this continue button system will navigate us to business.facebook.com we have to create the business profile there and again come back to the same website or developers.facebook.com slash apps so let's click on continue here and after clicking the continue under this whatsapp quick start here like create your business portfolio in the business manager the system has navigated us to the business.facebook.com and here we are creating a portfolio in the business manager so here first we have to enter the business and the account name so this name must match with your legal document they will verify if the name here is matching with your document which will be uploaded in the next step or not okay so enter the proper name here as per your document which you are going to upload for your business document your name and your business email address here and click on submit once we submit okay the facebook will send a confirmation email on the given email address just click on done here okay go to your go to your email address okay and check your inbox you might receive this message and then just confirm confirm now okay so once you confirm system will automatically navigate to this page business.facebook.com and here we can see the our information so by default under this business.facebook.com we are under settings and under settings we have to complete the business information part i will do i will explain that later okay so as i explained earlier once the business.facebook.com the business manager account is created okay again we have to navigate to this link if you are on the same page we will navigate here otherwise again go back to this web page okay so now once we log into developers.facebook.com slash apps here we can see the app id which we have created okay click on this app id here as you can see this is still in the development mode so first we will make it live so to make the app in the live mode click on the app setting here under app setting suppose without going there if i'm clicking if you're trying to make it live here we'll get the error message like invalid privacy policy okay so we must have the privacy policy and the terms of condition page on our website so without that we cannot make it at the live live so here we get the message go to basic settings and make sure it is valid so click on this app setting under app setting basic once we click on the basic we'll get this pop-up so here we have to enter the two important things the privacy policy url and the terms of service url both these pages must be there on our official business website like as i explained on my website i have those two pages policy uh, privacy policy and terms of you so the complete url okay of that we have to add here it is a mandatory and com com mandatory steps here and click on save changes so once this is done once this is done we can see the automatically our app mode is live now earlier it was development now it is live now once it is live we can go to the api setup 
our main main motive of this lecture okay is to create the meta account so that we can make use of whatsapp cloud api so here comes that part so in the same page developers.facebook.com slash apps under whatsapp click on the api setup once we click on the api setup read the information okay the whatsapp business platform api here we have to select a business portfolio which we created in the previous step and here the important message see you will receive a whatsapp test phone number to send the messages to maximum five numbers so what is meaning of this see in the requirement document i clearly mentioned like to make use of whatsapp business api we required one fresh number which is not registered on the whatsapp okay but before that this facebook system this developer system allow us to use their own test phone number okay till this stage we don't require the whatsapp number we can do the testing by using that test phone number but we will able to send the messages only to five numbers so once we add our own number the actual whatsapp number business whatsapp number then there is no limit we can send to n number based on the category okay so initially we don't require just continue with the test phone number so here just click on the continue button okay so here we can see the api details so to send the api to send a message to api we require access token this is the test number through this number the whatsapp message will get sent initially this test number okay to add our own number we have to just click on this arrow we'll get a pop-up then we can add our actual like official or sub business number okay this is the form number the test number means a form number from this phone number the whatsapp message will be sent and for each account system will assign a unique number that is called as a phone number id this phone number id not the phone number okay this is the phone number and the whatsapp business account id okay and here we have to add the two number to whom we want to send the message so while testing while doing the testing here again click on the arrow and add the phone number the receiver first will get a code with the code we have to validate then only will able to send the whatsapp message okay so to send the whatsapp message we require the access token we require a test number or the actual whatsapp number phone number id what's a business account id and two number with the country code so all this information we required here okay but now if you see here this button is disabled initially because in the earlier step i only created the business portfolio i not enter the complete information so in order so in order to make use of this whatsapp business api to test to test this business api first we must verify our facebook business manager okay then only we'll able to do the testing okay so what we can do again navigate to the business.facebook.com okay if you if you log out from the system log in again business.facebook.com click on settings and then click on the business info if you're not log out you will directly come under settings okay so here we have to click on the business info and then here click on edit button and first as the business details we have to add the business legal name you have to add the business legal name country complete address as per your legal document okay everything must match with the, your legal document okay the name address and your business phone number town city etc okay and suppose you are working like you are doing from india so we can in the tax id we can enter here gst number so gst number is must to have tax id okay here and then click on save now <clears throat> after that after that after this like first edit option here you can see the business verification status currently is unverified 
Okay, so once we done this with this part, business detail like adding the legal name, address, business phone number, and the website, etc. Then click on this view details to start the verification process. Fine, click on the view details. Then select here the start verification. So to to uh, for the business verification, require the business details. Confirm your details and upload the documents. So click on get started. Select your country. Click on next button. Then select the type of your business is corporation, sole property, partnership, private company, etc. And click on next. Here I have selected private company and click on next. So here we have to enter again the GST number, your legal business name, matching it with your document, business address. Okay, town, city, etc. All the information you have to enter as per your document which you are going to upload. Then click on the next button at the website phone number and click on the next button. On the next screen, system will show some matching business names. Okay, so either you can select one of these. Okay, or better, I would suggest select this radio button. My business isn't listed. Okay, just select this radio button my business is unlisted and click on next button. So on the next page, like here, like confirm your connection to the business. Okay, they will send us like either the email notification, etc. the phone call or all. Okay, so select the radio button like email is recommended here. So select the email and click on the next button. So the next we have to upload a document business legal document. Okay, so here I selected goods and service tax registration certificate. Select this document type and click on upload. Once the document is uploaded, click on the next. Okay, so here we have to enter our official business email ID. Once we enter the official business email ID, we'll get a email confirmation. Enter the confirmation code and click on next. So here you can see our document, like review your document uh, business detail first. Okay, the information submitted. Then Facebook will review our information. They may take one or two days. And once we submit the information, we can see the status as in review. So once it is in review, we can go and start testing the API. Okay, within one or two days, once they will verify our account, so we'll after that, if you log into the facebook.business.com, we'll see the message status as the business verification status as the verified. Okay, so this is the overall steps for registering on a, creating a meta account for WhatsApp API and like verifying the Facebook Business Manager account. So till now, we have done with the basic setup. Okay, so in the next lecture, we'll learn how to do the API testing. Fine. So in the next lecture, we'll see that. Thank you.